Hello everyone, welcome back to the series of tutorials on C++. I am Deepak. In previous tutorial, we discussed about virtual functions and now we are going to talk about static and dynamic binding. So when we are talking about static and dynamic binding, let's first talk about what is binding. So binding is basically, you can say mapping of one thing to another thing, right? And when we talk about programming languages or compiled languages, it's basically a link between a function call and function definition. So whenever we are calling a function in C++, the program control binds the memory address where that function is defined, right? So whenever you write something like this function, so this function must be defined somewhere in the memory. So these two things should be binded together, right? That this function will call this definition or this function will call some another definition. This should be binded together. Clear? So when we are saying that we have static binding or early binding and dynamic or late binding. That means in terms of static, we are generally uh, able to bind the function and function definition at the time of compile time, right? But when we are talking about dynamic or late binding, as the name suggests, it happens late or we can say it happens at runtime. So basically there is a difference between these two. It happens at compile time and it happens at runtime. Because in this, in dynamic binding, we are not able to find out the function definition that should be called from this function definition, right? So this is resolved at runtime. Let me remove this and I will write the differences between these two. Now, second thing, when we are saying that it's compile time and it's runtime, that's why we also say that it's early binding and it's late binding. So you should remember this. In case of static binding or early binding, the function calls and function definition that should be called are linked at compile time. But in case of dynamic or late binding, they are not resolved till runtime. Clear? In case of static binding, all the information that is needed to call a function is available at compile time. But in case of dynamic or runtime binding, this information can't be determined till runtime. Although all these things are similar, but if you want to write the differences between these two, then you can write all these things. Other than this, when we are talking about compile time binding, it means that it can be done with the normal calls or we can say normal function calls. And what kind of normal function calls are these? Like function overloading and operator overloading and you have already studied these things so it should not be difficult for you and when you talk about dynamic binding or runtime binding it can be achieved with the virtual functions i will show you an example of this again but just understand the differences first after this as everything is available to us at the compile time so this type of binding which is called compile time binding is generally faster but this runtime binding is slower than this, right? So whenever you have this question, you can always give example of function overloading and operator overloading in this and virtual functions in this. So let's talk more about dynamic binding. So you already know that this is also called late binding or runtime binding. So all these things are same. You can say anything and everything will be similar. So in case of dynamic or late binding, suppose you have a base class and this class is being inherited in the derived class. It has a function fun and it also has a function fun. So you have to understand that this function fun is virtual in this case. So when a program invokes a virtual function through a base class pointer, we should create some pointers here. So we have a base class. Let's first make its object. So previous to this, we have discussed some bigger examples having bigger code, but now I'm just taking these two classes so that it's very easier to understand. Now I will create a pointer, which is called BPTR, assign address of base class object here. After that, you can call the function FUN from this pointer. And after this, when you have BPTR, you can assign address of derived object here and then call BPTR and FUN. And here you will see 
that here we are calling function of derived class right so this will map to this and here this will bind to this right so all these bindings are going to be resolved at runtime so at the runtime we will find out that which function is going to be called and similarly in this case so this is called late binding or dynamic binding so let's write this formally now so here is the formal definition if a program invokes a virtual function you can see we have called a virtual function here fun through a base class pointer which is bptr here to a derived class object so we are calling function here using bptr or we can also use base class reference that we have not seen till now but we'll see that in later part of this series and we are using base class reference to a derived class object so basically either we are using base class pointer like this or base class reference and object is same in both the cases which is derived class object and then we are calling a derived class function and choosing this appropriate function to call at execution time rather than compile time is known as dynamic or late binding right so this is called dynamic binding if you remember this from our previous tutorial you might notice that in place of this thing we have used shape and draw so it was shape pointer actually but you can write shape here for understanding purpose right now talk about compile time a bit and let's write its formal definition so compile time binding is basically static binding or early binding all these are same so let's see the definition of compile time binding or static or early binding in more formal way so when a virtual function is called by referencing a specific object by name and using the dot member selection operator like this derived dot fun or in previous tutorial you have seen that we called sq dot draw so this function invocation is resolved at compile time right and the virtual function that is called is the one defined for or inherited by the class of that particular object so this is basically not a polymorphic behavior right and you should remember that dynamic binding with virtual function occurs only of pointer or reference handles so keep all these things in mind so let's take an example and i'm just giving you as homework or assignment you have to do this so just try to create a shape class and create some more classes below that one of them could be 2d shape another 3d shape then provide some functions there which can calculate area which can calculate perimeter then for 3d shape you can create some function which can calculate the surface area and volume so do one thing you can create a vector or array and what this vector array is going to do it will store pointer to the object of each concrete class in the hierarchy so what concrete class means we will study later but as of now you can understand that all the classes that are at the leaves and those as implemented all the functions are called concrete classes right so you have to do that and also determine whether each shape is a 2d or 3d according to this object so you have to look at this object and identify whether this particular object is a 2d object or 3d object right so this is homework for you try to ask any question you have in comments and also if you have found some answers you can write those in comments so guys see in the next video with some new concept till then thank you so much